ジュエリーデザインと制作をしています中田雅弘と申します大阪出身です My name is Masahiro Nakata I'm from Osaka, Japan I've learned jewelry design in Japan and Germany I joined Loop 3rd of May Masahiro Nakata is a Japanese jewelry and found object artist He obtained his bachelor degree from the College of Technology, Electrical Engineering and Computer Science at Osaka Prefecture University. After graduation, he jumped straight into jewelry design, teaching himself wax modeling and making silver accessories. A few years later, he decided to study at the goldsmith department of the Itami College of Jewelry. Then he participated in an exchange program run by the Fakshula Dusseldorf. Actually, I designed larger scale of objects before making jewelry because jewelry has a lot of limitation about design. We have to concern about robustness, material cost, and if it's wearable. So design of object scale is more free to me. After I finish the larger scale of design, I concern if it's translating into jewelry scale of object. And probably 10% of my design is used for jewelry design. I have made many pieces of bespoke jewelry. And I think nowadays customers are finding out value to special design to differentiate than others. For example, one of my customers was owner of restaurant. They serve wine to, to the restaurant's customers. The idea brought me was uh, to express the surface of the wine glass when the, when the wine was poured and they found the surface shape was very beautiful. I suggested drawing design and also 3D CAD modeling design as well. So at the end of we figure out a very beautiful, simple design of wedding jewelry. I'm inspired from architecture design, especially structure things that I found very beautiful. I would like to express the design into the jewelry, but there was no way to draw with hands, so I built original computer program to combine 3D CAD. After studying in Germany and many years of experimenting, he started to discover his own design language. Masahiro wants to push the boundaries and uncover new methods in jewelry design. In order to achieve this, he combines his technical background with jewelry craftsmanship, he has built multiple computer programs and even his own 3D printers to make the impossible possible. The forever curious designer is currently focusing on and experimenting with jewelry casting. This is actually the programming I built and learned by myself. Actually, this is a very difficult method to use this algorithm to jewelry design, but I'm really happy to try this. What I did to this program is adding to physical element and physical changing. I gave pressure and depressure to see how it turns out my design. Generally, 3D CAD design cannot allow to many changes while you're working, but to use this program, the benefit is you can generate more random design from one single idea. This one is the bird I designed and I add creating algorithm and to make random structure design. So this is swan. I made this animal as a bird series. To me, bird makes me feel freedom, and the bird can go everywhere just flying. 
the swan, swimming swan, is my favorite design. This concept is the firstly I designed basic swan model and I placed many dots on the surface and I control the number of the dot, how many number of the dot is looks beautiful and connect each dot by the straight line to make framing design. To me this mathematical method into animal form is beautiful. 